This just in, there's a shit storm heading your way. No, it was, a good, it was fun. It was a fun script, fun day. Who wouldn't like playing a demon? It's a lot more fun than playing Jesus. Demons are fun to play, you know, bad guys, demons, evil guys. Do you really think that a 1995 box of religious crap is gonna scare the destroyer of worlds? So it's nice to play, other than just playing around Jeremy, you know. Although nothing wrong with playing around Jeremy. <laughs> you know, this is really a lot of fun. I've been in the ground way too long. It was fun, so it was, not, it was good dialogue, fun script. Director, oh, ass, oh, oh. No, he was a good guy. No, everyone was very sweet. Look, they let me keep the robe. They said, here, they just got this robe for you, keep it. No, I mean, they're just, they're just a nice bunch of folks. You could look there, yeah. but you can also kind of, because you're talking to It was like an aside, like yeah, the, yeah. Well, I did that for the uh, three-quarter inch joke, yeah. Right. Okay, 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 let's do it again. Okay, okay. right, quiet. I've done about 2,000 adult movies, about two, close to 200 mainstream films. Well, they're gonna have my face superimposed over all kinds of nasty stuff in this particular movie. And frankly, I find that disgusting. However, we are true thespians, and we, we care about our craft. And so if that's what's necessary for the plot, then so be it. What, what is it? Nothing. I, I hear something, Elvis. I hear something. Boom. <laughs> Ron, like, a, lot of, a lot of filmmakers like to do that. They want to shoot the special effects in the camera. You know who's famous for that is trauma films. I've worked on a bunch of those. They like to actually shoot the special effects in the camera, not in the editing room, and just do a lot of crazy, zany, wild things. And Lloyd Kaufman does that. So I'm in Toxic Avenger 4, uh, Poultry Geist, Chickens Who Eat the World. A lot of fun films of his. You know, Class of Newcomb High, Part 3. <laughs> oh, oh, man, what the f You eat one bad soul, and look what happens. My character is a demon. He, he just somehow winds up in, in, on Earth pretty much by accident. But he's here and he's got some plans. Seven seconds, Venus is going to enter the seventh house. <laughs> That's going to be great. Come on now. Have I got all millennia? All of a sudden, you know, the world changes, you know, and bad, uh, good becomes bad and evil takes over. And so I'm enjoying this. That's why I'm like a poltergeist bothering this trailer because I want to just make everyone's life totally miserable and then the new order will take over. You're gonna die, boy. What'd you say? I'm gonna get inside you. Deep inside you. About nine and three quarter inches deep. I mean, it's, it's, very, it's great for an actor to appear like that. I mean, it really is fun because it makes your character so much more colorful. You're getting all this environment that's making you do a better job whether you like it or not. You know, if I just did this dialogue like against the wall or uh, in a trailer and just yelled at these people and insulted them and embarrassed them, we'd have the same effect. Being on a green screen and appearing on a bubble. Who are you? Hello. I'm the demon Montezuma at your cervix. You know, or appearing amongst turds or being in, having your face into a toilet bowl. It's just, every actor loves that stuff. Because then, because you, you, you're just a visually hysterical to look at before you even say one word. You know, anything you say on a bubble, it's going to be a lot funnier than anything you'd say sitting on a chair. Or being in someone's bathtub and suddenly looking up at them or, you know, watching some guy's crack of his ass going towards the toilet and saying, just say no to crack, you know. Just, it's fun. You know, this is a very fun role. Who would not want, what actor would turn down being a demon? A little nasty, crazy, foul-mouthed, bad joke-telling demon. I ain't seen this much blood since Elvis was born. Ah, now that's what I call a bloody good concert. I'm just trying to keep my family together. 